We're going to turn to Washington now, and Vice President Joe Biden unplugged. As part of his leading role in the president's efforts to prevent gun violence, he was taking questions yesterday from readers of Parents Magazine. ABC's John Carl was listening in as both Biden and those readers got a little more than they bargained for. Here's a side of Joe Biden you don't see every day. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun. You don't need a machine gun. You don't need 30 rounds. Buy a shotgun. Buy a double barrel shotgun. Could you imagine the level of frustration and disbelief of a doctor who walks into the OR only to find Pierce Morgan with that geriatric denture smile sitting there telling him which tools he needs or doesn't need in order to use in the operation to save a person's life? That's how I feel about seeing now Joe Biden telling me or anyone else what we need or don't need in order to protect our lives. He wasn't doing a commercial for his favorite gun shop. He was responding to online questions from Parents Magazine. And he seemed to get a little rattled when some of the questions came from people unhappy with the president's gun proposals. Do you believe that banning certain weapons and high capacity magazines will mean that law abiding citizens will then become more of a target to criminals as we will have no way to sufficiently protect ourselves? <laughs> is this Parents Magazine? It is. I have Parents Sorry. Magazine at home. I've never mm-hmm. heard anybody in Parents Magazine ask these kinds of questions. What's your name? Um, Kate. Kate. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells of 12 gauge shotgun. The vice president said that is exactly what he told his wife to do. And this is the person Obama has leading the whole gun control debate, Elmore Fudd incarnate. Here's the irony. He said he told his wife to put the shotgun outside the door and fire off two shots and anybody who's around that heard it will leave if she's ever attacked. Now, I can say without a doubt that no one in the gun community would ever advocate shooting indiscriminately without knowing who and what they're shooting at. Because it's dangerous and quite frankly, it's tactically moronic. You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim. It's harder to use. That. You'll be completely fine. Oh my god. Ow! Alan! What's wrong, Autumn? Pull the trigger. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> And in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. Buy a shotgun.